Go baby. Cowards don't get snug me, you fing kike bitch. <laughs> I just dropped that on my head. That didn't even go to fing. Um, anyways. At the time of his live stream, the NBA's Myers Leonard used an anti Semitic slur while playing Call of Duty Warzone. Grab back, I gotta take a quick phone call. Yep. Leonard would likely receive word from a member of his team that they overheard the slur. You can see the look on his face as he hears the other end of the line. Yo, my wife needs me. She just called me. I'll, uh, I gotta roll, brother. GG's. Okay. This would be the start of a treacherous downfall for Myers Leonard. Did you know what the word means? Where, it, anything about its history? Absolutely not. There are absolutely no excuses for what happened that day. And... Ignorance, sadly, is a very real thing, and that's what I was. Let me say, I'm Jewish, but not only am I Jewish, I speak Yiddish. I just spoke Yiddish on ESPN, right? I had, I had uh, relatives who were killed in the Holocaust. My youngest daughter, Mira, is named for my great-grandmother who was shot in the Yespateria ditch along with 3,000 other Jews by the Nazis. This is a personal issue to me. Where do you think you picked up the word? I have obviously had a very long time to think about this. I believe that over the years, there's less than ideal uh, language used in a large portion of video gaming. So you had no idea that this word is a derogatory term for Jewish people? No, absolutely not. I am not offended, personally. I think oftentimes when these things happen, you have to ask yourself, who is the offended party? because I feel that we're in a great rush to be offended by something. He would issue this apology, which would read, I am deeply sorry for using an anti-Semitic slur during a live stream yesterday. While I didn't know what the word meant at the time, my ignorance about its history and how it is offensive to the Jewish community is absolutely not an excuse, and I was just wrong. He was suspended by the NBA for a week and fined $50,000. The week following the incident, the Heat traded Leonard to the Thunder. The week after that, the Thunder released him. In an instant, Leonard had become a pariah. The very least we can say is right now, Myers Leonard's paying a stupid tax because it's one thing to do that privately and say, that's the culture of my friend group. It's quite another to do it publicly. That, at the very least, you pay a stupid tax for. Leonard, 30, considered quitting basketball because of his own actions on Twitch. He would be sidelined for a few years, which was a mixture of a few variables. The slur on the Twitch live stream and also injuries that required surgery. That's when he felt he had to right a wrong. He sought counseling from rabbis in Florida. He met with Jewish organizations to understand the origin of the hateful word he uttered. Many of his detractors would point to his standing during the national anthem as another cause for concern. He cited the military and a sibling serving as his primary reasons. Behind the scenes, Leonard got to work. He met with Jewish leaders and spoke at synagogues. I felt like I had just destroyed my life and everything that I worked for. Working with several Jewish groups, Leonard conducted a number of basketball camps for Jewish children and apologized numerous times for what he said and his ignorance about what the word meant. Some have drawn parallels to Dallas Mavericks star Kyrie Irving. This course of action stood in stark contrast to what Kyrie Irving had done this season. The 30-year-old guard in late October shared a link to a film that promoted anti-Semitic views that included the false belief the Holocaust did not happen. Irving initially pushed back on criticism over his promotion to the film, but after the Brooklyn Nets suspended him, he issued an apology. He completed the guidelines of his suspension and returned to the team. Years after the indefensible, Adrian Wojnarowski would break the news. The Milwaukee Bucks would be signing Myers Leonard to a 10-day contract, his first game against his former team, the Miami Heat.